You've never accepted the results of the 2020 presidential election. Indeed, you've lionized people for the uh, Sarah, attack Sarah, on the Sarah, are we talking about Julian Assange? Well, it, Sarah, it's a, it's are, you, are, you even a serious, are you even a serious interviewer? You know that line from Forrest Gump? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. Nobody quite embodies that, like the queen of stupid town, her high off her assness herself, Marjorie Taylor, green eggs and ham for brains. And can you tell me why so many people that support Donald Trump love conspiracy theories, including yourself? He seems to attract lots of conspiracy theorists. Well, let me tell you, you're a conspiracy theorist. Is she the dumbest person in the House of Representatives? <laughs> um... I'd be hard-pressed to find someone dumber. And folks, Stupid Town has been in complete chaos this week. The world is in complete chaos! Because not only has their leader gotten absolutely destroyed by a drag queen on Twitter, had an epic, traitorous mental breakdown on Steve Bannon's podcast, but also, just last night, Moscow March took a page right out of the playbook of her cult leader and former idiot-in-chief, Donald Trump. After a producer point, mentioned producers time remaining for the interview, the president abruptly the ended it. In the I think we have enough of an interview here, Hope. Okay, that's enough. By throwing a temper tantrum and rage quitting an interview with ABC News Australia after they asked her the simple question of whether she'd accept the results of the upcoming election. Which, you know, wouldn't be the first time she rage quit an interview with a foreign news outlet. What about Jewish space lasers? Tell us about Jewish space no, lasers. No, why don't, why don't you go talk about Jewish space lasers and really, why don't you f*** off? How about that? I'm Thanks, thank you very much. And while in this most recent interview she doesn't get asked about Jewish space lasers, it arguably ends in an even more disastrous outcome for Marjorie, which to be fair, is often the case when bird brain tries to attack people with human brains. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A, a what now? And just like Jasmine Crockett did there, this Australian interviewer simply tries to speak truth to stupid, and Marjorie absolutely loses it. Here's a moment from early on, before the interview devolves completely, where they're talking about Julian Assange, and Marjorie makes a pretty boldly outrageous claim. Take a look. What were you concerned about um, uh, jeopardizing the U.S. relationship to Australia? Because it's obviously not our alliances in fo foreign wars. I, I would think that it would definitely strain relationships between our two countries uh, because the United States was pursuing, and still is obviously, prosecution of Julian Assange, who who's a journalist from your country, who the Australian people love, and he's so widely supported in your country. Um, I, I don't want to see those type of prosecutions where we're locking up uh, journalists that are trying to expose the wrongs of government. Oh, so you don't want to see countries locking up journalists? That's odd. I seem to recall your cult leader and convicted felon calling for jailing journalists on multiple occasions. And mind you, over things that were far less detrimental to national security than the things that Julian Assange exposed. But that was far from the only thing Marjorie was cooking up in her crock pot of crap, which interestingly enough is actually a synonym for Marjorie Taylor Greene's brain. The more you know. The Assange story is essentially about the limits of the law and Americans are typically law-abiding people. Typically. Won't millions of them have reservations about voting for Donald Trump now he's a convicted felon? <laughs> <laughs> we have no reservations about voting for Donald Trump because the convictions are fake and they are co a complete perversion of our justice system. It's actually embarrassing for the state of New York that they ran these sham trials and, and did these so-called convictions against President Trump, but yet they release criminals every single day on their streets. I just need to stop the squawking bird there for a second to interject a couple key points here. First of all, ain't no way in hell I'm letting Marjorie Taylor Greene speak for millions of Americans and say we have no reservations about Donald Trump. And secondly, it needs to be pointed out, as we did in our video about Tim Scott pushing the exact same lie, that crime is plummeting in this country country. Well, except, of course, when it comes to former presidents. Um, I, I don't think that uh, you can even sound serious if you're talking on an interview and you want to attack the American people for supporting President Trump. We remember his presidency as being great. We could afford food, gasoline, electric bills. Um, jobs were plentiful, but under Joe Biden, we've pretty much been run by what's like, like a communist regime here. She said it. A communist regime. 
Magadonian sleeper agent mode activated. Must buy Trump Bible. Let's go, Brandon. But, you know, were it not for the ability of Mr. Trump's lawyers to delay proceedings, he might hmm. have a string of convictions before the election related to January 6 and his attempts to overturn that election. Do you believe that he will ever face trial for those actions? Great question. Uh, you know, I think it's a real shame here in America today that we're seeing our justice systems used in campaigns and to sway presidential elections. And that's something that I would think people like yourself would condemn and speak out against. Um, you've never accepted the results of the 2020 presidential election. Indeed, you've lionized people for uh, the Sarah, wow. Sarah, the aren't we talking about Julian Assange? Well, it, Sarah, so are, you, are, you even a serious, are you even a serious interview? Yeah, funny she should ask if Sarah is a serious interviewer when uh, she's not even a serious congresswoman. Now, I'm not a big fan of the B word, but I will say, which y'all talked about Julian Assange for 10 minutes. This is her interview. Let the woman do what she damn pleases. Also, that is an entirely appropriate line of questioning. What's that? She can't hear me. It's only going to get worse from here. Okay. I thought we're talking about Julian Assange just, here today. We are? That's what you were asking me to come Indeed. on your Australian news show. I don't usually do interviews like this mm. because people like you can't be taken seriously. Let me just let me just put this to you because you use the term truth as the reason why you have been so supportive of Julian Assange. So I want to go to one of the most dominant issues of truth in the American landscape. So, as I just said, okay. you've, you've lionized... I mean, from an Australian view, you, this is the dominant issue of truth. Okay, let's, let's hear it, Sarah. What a smug little conniving country ass. So you've lionized people in prison for their role in attacking the Capitol on January the 6th, including yeah. visiting them in prison. This is my question. What will Donald Trump's MAGA supporters do if he loses the election? Great question. Margie, your response? Um, so what does this have to do with Julian Assange again, Sarah? I think that was the purpose of our interview. The, indeed Here, let purpose. me tell you something that you don't quite understand. Oh boy, some great wisdom from the Queen of Stupid Town. Surely this will be insightful. 2020 America Watch riot day in and day out with BLM riots that caused over $2 billion in our, in our communities and cities across the country. Uh, Sarah, what the Australian people know that probably don't like your show very much, but, <laughs> but they do understand the truth, is that in America Day, today, we have a two-tier justice system. And the Justice Department, the DOJ, targets their political enemies. And President Trump is the very top of that. And people that protested the election on January 6th are also the target of it. And what you probably don't tell your viewers is that many of these people that are being arrested you. and put in jail simply walked into the Capitol building through open doors and videoed and took pictures of the inside of the Capitol. And then they walked out through doors. They walked out through doors, not through windows. Oh, right. I forgot about the neat little single file lines that all those meandering visitors to the Capitol just walk peacefully in through, simply admiring our beautiful Capitol and not desecrating it with Confederate flags, breaking down Nancy Pelosi's office door and gouging out Capitol Police officers' eyes. I must have been just remembering it differently. I'm sure not the images that you show on, on your uh, network in Australia, but it's a shame because that's what the media has done and twisted and lied. Seriously, it's the really, that's what we're of supposed to be about talking. Truth. And why so, would I? What network is this? Is she, getting her, is she getting any marching orders from the Democrat party? Which? Unfortunately for us, you are a congresswoman. The interview may be about Julian Assange, but there is a presidential debate tonight and an election that will affect the entire world in November. You can answer a damn question about whether you will accept the democratic process or not, even though your lack of an answer speaks far louder than any crock of crap sympathetic Trump lip service you'd give anyway. Crap party. I mean, it like, is this what you decided to come up with today? You're a, you're a prominent figure in US politics. The first uh, debate is tomorrow. The result of the election is on the minds, not just of Americans, but of the whole world. So it's a, na it's a natural point of curiosity. But I understand that we've reached the end of uh, the questions that you want to answer. Thank you for talking to us about Julian Assange and for joining the program.
Wow. Kudos to that woman, remaining steadfast, professional, and respectful, even when viciously attacked by a squawking bird of prey. You know, that's the type of behavior you'd sort of expect from a, a member of Congress. Thank you. Good night. Oh, never mind. She just rips the mic off all flustered and frustrated. That is not something you do if you're a media trained seasoned interviewer, which again, unfortunately for us, Marjorie is. Just absolutely abhorrent behavior on her part. Thanks for watching y'all, smash that like button and subscribe if you think Marjorie is the Wicked Witch of Georgia. And let me know all your best nicknames for bird for brains in those comments down below. For Really American, I'm Kenny Hess and I'll see you all in the next one.